right, have a 2005 Dodge Sprinter. Had uh, some oil building up underneath. I wiped a lot of it off, but it was all over the uh, lift point. And you know, down here, the coolant lines. So, it was coming out of the seal where the resonator meets the outlet of the turbo. Um, changed the oil separator up on top. And the, uh, it stopped leaving a puddle of oil. But I could tell it was still dripping, so I'm just going to replace that seal. And I decided to get rid of the plastic uh, resonator because I had already replaced it. Um, or with another plastic one, and if I'm gonna, I don't want to do this three times. So I'll just put the metal one in. Plus, I like the sound of the turbo, um, and with the metal straight pipe, you know, I'll hear that whistle. It makes me feel good. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, the torque screws. This is where the mount is for the arm of the resonator. You can just use a quarter inch uh, box wrench or open end. Makes it a lot easier if you don't have the right tool. And I didn't have any problems with stripping and nothing came right out. See, I removed the uh, intake hose just to get it out of the way. I had some grease, so I wanted to get it out of there, degrease shit. There was some buildup inside, um, inside of the outlet. I wanted to clean that all out in the tube a little bit. Um, but this just this just pops in just a press on connection so that's the uh, oil separator um, <laughs> so it's underneath the cover here that's what I replaced it was cheap on euro parts uh, looked exactly like OEM you know made in, made in Europe so I got this bitch out and put the new metal one in wherever it is out oh, right here next to it <laughs> But it didn't come with a gasket, so I had to order that separate. This one just looked a little flat. Oh, it was leaking, so I'm not even going to mess with it. I just got a new one. So, I don't know if that is the... I don't know if it's a Dorman lo logo or not, but... Oh, maybe I'll hold on to it. Because it's, it's not bad, it's just the gasket. So, maybe somebody I know a couple people with sprinters, so you know, if they need it, they can take it. So, all right, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna throw it back in. There's two torque bolts right here. You know, it comes with a different clamp. So they say not to use the uh, you know the original one. I forget exactly why. Uh, I guess because it's on metal, they have a different style. Doesn't look any different to me, really. Maybe it's a little wider. It's got a thicker... It's a little thicker, I guess. So, Alright. Have a great day. Hopefully this helps. You know, I couldn't really find any, any decent videos explaining too much. I mean, there's stuff out there, but... You know, throw another thing and make it a little easier. Alright, take care, fellas.